What's up, guys? How's everyone doing? We are back. We are back today with another episode. Um, today, I just wanted to chat a little bit about some some local news that's going on uh, yeah, in the scene right now in Australia uh, that most people probably wouldn't know about. Um, so, what has happened is a, a Sydney rapper named The Kid Leroy. Uh, just recently signed a record deal with Sony whilst he was just over in New York City. Um, big, big move, big, big news um, right now in the hip hop community um, for everyone that is, you know, in the scene and watching what's going on. Um, so yeah, just wanted to yeah go over it and, and talk a little bit about it. So for those of you who don't know who the Kid Leroy is and don't know much about what's happening. Um, in the Australian hip hop scene, the Kid Leroy is a 15 year old. Um, I could could uh, have that wrong. It could be 16, but I'm pretty sure he's a 15 year old. Um, yeah, 15 year old boy, uh, kid from from uh, West Sydney, and um, yeah, he's a he's a rapper. So he's a singer as well. Um, he's he's a very very talented um, kid. I actually first heard about the Kid Leroy. I think it was like June, July last year, so quite a while ago. Um, and how I, how I found him was quite funny. I was actually um, just hustling people on Facebook back when um, Facebook hadn't banned my account, <laughs> and I could freaking message like 60, 70 people a day, and I was just pumping JC's um, music out to people across the country. And one guy that I sent it to, you know, came back to me and just started slinging heaps of advice, like 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 proper advice and stuff like that, and was was talking to me about um, like branding, like music, like stuff we should do as a team. I was like, oh man, who is this guy? Where's this coming from? And then he proceeded to tell me that he himself is like a, as a manager, and he is uh, working with uh, an artist called the Kid Leroy, who was like fourteen at that time, and like he plugged me the Kid Leroy, and he was like, yeah, man. But this kid, this kid's next up. Like he was, just, like he was just completely plugging the kid away and just saying, like, watch this kid, man. Like he's going, he's going places. So that was the first time I was introduced to him, and and I, like, I, of course, I listened to the kid's music, and of course, he was his music was was incredible. It was very, very, very um, high production. It was um, it was some serious quality. Um, which was amazing to see. Like it was, it was beautiful to listen to. I personally fucked with his music. Like I, I listened to his music. Um, there was a few songs that I totally vibe with, and I, I remember showing Jay, and Jay was impressed as well. So that was the first time I heard about him, and um, I think he had, he was, he was either just about to drop his EP, or he already had. I can't remember the timings of things. Either way, either shortly after that, he dropped his um his EP. Uh, 14 with a dream which is dope for anyone who hasn't heard it go check it out um that shit's fire but um but yeah so ever since then he, he was on my radar and i've definitely been watching him um uh, uh since and yeah they've him and his team have been doing some awesome things so he's he's um he's got a very very solid team uh similar uh teammates and, and networks as as marty cook's team obviously with ziggy managing him uh, he's Marty Cooks' manager. Um, I know Rick's a part of that. Um, don't know much about him, but from when I last spoke to him, very, very switched on. So yeah, they've they've obviously got a very, very strong team going on. It's been it's been beautiful to watch them grow. Um, and Kid Leroy, with they instantly, their team instantly had it all going. You know, they were uh, instantly partnered up. I'm pretty sure with a talent agency in America or so, some, something like that. Uh, and um, you know, had a booking agent ready to go and he was essentially just opening up for like <laughs> every like American rapper coming into Australia for like the last six months. Like it's been opening for Juice World and all these all these other cats. So um yeah, it's been a it's been a very, very interesting um interesting thing to watch. It's been awesome to watch. Uh for those who have been watching as well, who got like the privilege to see this growing um from uh, the same way I did, it's um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool with like that with all artists in Australia. Like I look at that with JC. I look at that with other artists as well that I'm watching. It's Australian hip hop in general. It's a beautiful thing to be watching right now, 
Um, this is the time to be alive for Australian music and Australian hip hop. So it's yeah, it's really awesome. So yeah, this um this is yeah big news in the hip hop community. You know, um, he just signed a huge deal um, with Sony. Um, I have no information on what the deal is. I don't know if anyone does. Um, I haven't really looked into it that much, but. Um, this is, this is going to project so much benefits for Australia in so many different ways as well. So, not only is him signing that, already putting, um, eyes on Australia in terms of, you know, the big, big label reps and, and whatnot, because obviously, you know, they're obviously going to be looking, uh, looking and over these ways and you know if they're in contact with more Australian um, managers and reps and stuff like that it's going to be obviously so much more talks about other Australian artists so it just opens up that door um, behind the scenes which is which is a great thing and once the Kid Leroy does start releasing this new music which I'm sure he has a lot of <laughs> I am sure they're they're ready to roll out it would not surprise me if they start hammering new music within the next six to 12 months, big time, um, with some huge collabs. Like we already know that he's got a collab coming with Skies, um, whether or not that's going to go through, but now with this deal, I'm assuming that's going to go through now. Everything they've done has just been so thoughtful and so planned out. So kudos to them. Um, but yeah, once they start dropping all this new music, um, with now obviously the machine behind them, it's just going to propel and so, uh, it's such a large quantity and it's going to reach just so many uh, people across the world. And, and, and the thing, the, th the fine thing with this is if he stays true to representing Australia, it's going to be astronomical for the Australian hip hop scene, which I can almost 100% guarantee he's going to, because he's already been doing that. We just saw Adam 22 come over and he was completely showing Adam around you know, his, uh, his hometown streets and showing him to all the locals, you know, repping, repping Sydney, Australia. Um, and with his team behind him with Zig, I know for a fact that is exactly what Zig wants to do. Um, Zig wants to pioneer things for the scene and it, he will absolutely make sure that, um, uh, Kid Leroy stays true to Australian hip hop and for the culture, uh, whilst on this journey. So, I can almost guarantee they're going to stick. He's going to stick by that. He's going to stick true to the culture, stick true to Australia, and that is where the the benefit's going to come. Uh, you know, all of a sudden this this kid's going to start blowing up, and he's going to blow up big. Fucking mark my words, like he definitely will. And when he starts jumping on these tracks and then you know being pushed by the label, being pushed by all, all these other artists, everyone's going to start looking down at Australia. You know, it's 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 just going to be the the doors opening for other Australian artists and just the other uh, whole scene in general. And it's just going to open up the gates, you know, the window for the rest of the world to start looking in and back to my prediction, you know, big things are going to be happening in the next year or two. Um, this is just another part of the journey for everyone. Um, and that's how it feels uh, on my behalf. Uh, that's how it feels for me, you know, um, a win for any Australian hip hop artist right now is a win for everybody, and it's it's a beautiful thing to see, and just to just to be backing each other one uh, one another is is just the way to go right now. And so I have so much love for that their whole team and for the Kid Leroy, and I just yeah I think it's going to do some amazing things for other Australian artists, and it'll be very interesting to carry on watching uh, his journey. So yeah, if you if you guys haven't uh, the Kid Leroy, just check him out. But um, yeah, just wanted to chat a little bit about that because um, some pretty big news going uh, on behind the scenes. If you're, you know, if you're living under a rock. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, drop some comments uh, if you guys have any thoughts. You know, you have any comments on the Kid Leroy and then this whole uh, deal and whatnot. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.